Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the Canvas Speed Grader, which is an awesome tool for efficiently providing feedback to your students. You can add rubrics to Speed Grader, it basically do assignments, and it makes it so much faster for you to assess students. It automatically will calculate the score, and you have options in how you can provide feedback to the students with text, audio, video, attachments, and opening a dialogue with the student on the actual assignment itself. So I will preface this by saying that the BCSC Canvas will connect to Power Teacher Pro Gradebook for middle school and high school at this time. Um, we're still looking at what that's going to look like for elementary, and we will have more information in the summer when we get more of our Power School, the upcoming school year, up and running so we can practice and tinker with that. So I will have more on that soon. I know you're probably excited about it and eager to see it. I can confirm that grades will connect, but I do have to do a little bit more back and set up on those pieces when we are not currently in a school year with active student profiles to be able to do that. All right. So if I want to leverage the Canvas Speed Grader, you can use it on a variety of different things in Canvas. You can use it on discussions. You can use it on assignments. It's really up to you and how you want to do this. And it's called the Speed Grader. And it's basically just the, the view that Canvas changes into when you're providing feedback and grading an assessment. So pretty awesome tool. So I'm going to toggle back and forth between the elementary view in Canvas and the middle school and high school view, just so you can get a feel for what that looks like. So if I'm in the Canvas elementary view, here's my course, I have my homepage and everything. And if I want to see an assignment that I've made, or if I have feedback I need to give to students, I'm going to click manage subject. And when I get into this view, I can easily toggle, toggle over into assignments. And that's where I can provide feedback to my students. I believe I had a fake student, Nick, complete this. All right, so this is an assignment where they wrote things out. And to open Speed Grader, it's just gonna be over here on the right-hand side. And that's very consistent when you're providing feedback to students on assignments like this. And if you set up a discussion board for students to give feedback, uh, for you to give feedback to students as well. So if I go over here to my middle school and high school type of view in Canvas, same thing. Um, I did just submit a fake student submission on here. So I do have a notification on my to-do list, but that also pops up as soon as I sign into Canvas on my dashboard. Elementary, it's the same for you. I didn't have a fake student on this one, um, but if I want to get a reminder on what I have to grade, as soon as I log into Canvas, I go to my dashboard and it will show me items in my to-do list. Basically things for me to grade. Um, for students, it will show where they've gotten recent feedback. All right. So over here, something for me to grade as the teacher. If you download the Canvas teacher app, it will also give you a notification on that for things you need to grade. And you can even grade on the teacher app as well. It's pretty, pretty slick. All right. So if I want to jump into the assignment over here that is showing up on my to-do list, I can click it, get to it. The other ways I can get to my assignments, and this is the same for elementary as well, I can always go to the module and find the name of the assignment itself. I can go to my assignments list here in secondary. And if you don't see this list, it might be hidden under this little menu. But this shows all of my assignments, not really in any particular order, but all of the assignments here that are active in the course. So if I remember the name of the assignment, I can get in there and start grading. Otherwise, if I click the to-do list item, it takes me right there. Okay, so to start giving feedback in Speed Grader, it looks the same for elementary and secondary. All right, so I'm gonna move myself around here so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So here is an example of Speed Grader in the elementary interface. And it is exactly the same for the elementary interface as it is for secondary. And I will toggle over to show you proof of that here in a second. So the first thing I'm going to point out is just this top navigation bar. Um, so right here is where you can get to the Canvas gradebook, which shows you a lot of information, whole class breakdown of student performance, individual student performance, and you can even message students who haven't completed the assignment or those who have. So I will show you that in a second. Um, so here is where you can hide grades for this assignment. So if you are in the middle of grading this and you don't want to publish this for one full swoop, you can hide the grades. By default, it's usually set to all grades posted, but you have some control on that. Here are just some keyboard shortcuts and settings options. Right here is the name of the assignment and a reminder on when it was due what course it was in. So this will take you back to the course homepage. This will take you back to the actual assignments itself if you click the name. This shows you the number that you have graded in the course. Um, so on this particular assignment, I was training elementary principals in this course. So that's why they're all in here. 
Um, they didn't have to like, complete the assignment, so Jeff's not in trouble or anything. But um, I have an example here of how many of them that I've graded, what the average score has been on this assignment. It's out of six points. That's the average. Um, and then over here is where I can click through and get to other student responses. So you have a couple options here. There's a drop down menu, so I can click to my next student, or I can go through the arrows here as well. Um, in secondary, you'll have your students organized by class period and mod in your courses as well. So it makes it a little bit easier to filter through. Okay, so that's just the top navigation bar. On this panel right here would be where a student assignment submission will be. Um, technically, because there wasn't a submission on this assignment, that's why you're not seeing anything right there. Um, but I think I have an example here where there is one. Nope, maybe not. All right, but this is one that I did get feedback on. Okay, so if I want to give feedback to the student, here's a couple things to know about this. You have options up here and how you want to flag this assignment feedback. So if I click the little pencil button, I can mark it as late and it shows up late to the students and I can write, it will calculate the number of days it's late if you set a due date, but you can even override that if you want. Um, you can also put this in as a missing assignment and it shows up as read and missing on the student view in the gradebook. It also shows up when they log in on the student app is a missing assignment. It shows up across the top of their to-do list. Um, if I click excuse, then it basically overrides this and it won't affect the student's grade. It won't count towards it, won't count against it. And if I just do none, then it sets it back to what it was. So this is an example of an assignment in Canvas where I did add a rubric to the assignment. So if I want to use that rubric to score, this is how you do that. And this is the wonderful thing in this view that makes it so easy to grade. And if you notice what I've been doing here, I like to change this slider view because I want a little bit more real estate to work with. You can minimize this, shrink it, do whatever you want to do, do full screen. It basically allows you to have split screen of the student assignment itself as well as your rubric. So if I scroll a little bit further down, this is a very short rubric that I, that I made here. Um, but if I want to give feedback to this student on how they did, all right. I just click in those areas and look over here. It automatically was calculating that score. And if I want to add comments here, I can do that for these individual items on the rubric and I'm good to go. And whenever I am finished, I'll click save. And it saves it there. And if I click view rubric again, if I made a mistake, then I can go back and do it. But if you notice here, it was automatically calculating that score, which is fantastic. The next space down here is just to give comments to students. So if you are wanting to open up a conversation with students and give them more feedback, you could definitely still add comments here on the rubric like what I did. But if you don't use a rubric on the assignment and you still want to give feedback, this assignment comment space is always going to be there. It's always there with a rubric too, but if you don't have a rubric, it is there. So this is where you can say like, fantastic job, great work. You can add um, a little emoji here if you want. This is speech recognition. So you can record a comment. You can record audio and video here that might be more efficient. Sometimes with giving feedback and it provides it in multiple means that might be more accessible to students. I can attach files if I would like from my computer. So maybe if I have a rubric on a different type, not necessarily built into Canvas, I can attach it. Or if I have next steps for the students to do or review, I can attach it. And whenever I am finished giving feedback, I just click submit. And then the student gets a notification on their profile that they've gotten feedback and they are all good to go. So that is just an example of how you can use SpeedGrader. All right. So I just wanted to pop over into a secondary view to show you. Same thing here. I still went to my assignment. Actually, I clicked on the notification that I had something to grade because I did this assignment in student view. Um, I click speed grader, opens it in a new tab, and I have the same exact view across the top here. I have not graded any of these, so I can change my view here. So this actually has a submission, you know, clearly very insightful, just a sentence typed out. I can still move my view here. I can still toggle to other students in the course. And if you're wondering who is test student, this is an awesome thing that I love to do to tinker and practice in Canvas is if you toggle into student view in your course, you can, you can submit 
one of the assignments that you've built in student view. And then this test student here is me in student view. So I can even give feedback to myself. So I get more familiarity with speed grader and the grade book in Canvas. That's what I would really recommend that you do is you toggle on the student view, do your assignments, so then you can give yourself some feedback. All right. So if I click here, um, I can, you know, still have the same options here. I can still use a rubric here. This is a very short rubric, it appears, that I built for this assignment. I can still add a comment on the rubric if I want. I'm not going to in this example. I can click save. It still calculates that for me. Create some nice graphs and charts there. It's going to color code things based on student performance. And if you notice here, it calculates the average across the top two. I can still go through, type out all these things, so on and so forth. Uh, and something else that's cool is you can reassign this as well if the student needs to redo it. If they you know, didn't meet the, the metrics or performance that you wanted them to, you can still do that. So I can still, I can record audio voice note. I can do audio and video here or upload it for quick feedback as well. I can attach a file, um, but whenever I'm finished, I just click submit. All right, and there we go. My comment was submitted, so I can move on to the next student. All right, so that is just an example of the helpful features in SpeedGrader. The next thing I wanna show you in SpeedGrader is just what this looks like from the student side of things. So I'm actually going to toggle into student view so you can see what it's like when students get feedback. All right. So since I just gave feedback to my test student, which is me, you notice now I have a little notification over here on my grades menu. And I also get a notification if I go to the course homepage, it says I've gotten feedback provided. So this is the Canvas gradebook in the student view. So there's some really awesome things here that you can leverage, that students can leverage. They can arrange things by due date, by module, by name. Um, this is also a place where you can print grades for students. This what if grade calculator is really cool. What it allows you to do is the student is say, okay, so this is a missing assignment. Clearly I'm way behind the curve on this. It was due over a year ago, but let's say my teacher is super generous and they allowed me to submit it a year late and I get half credit. Then what that does is this what if grade calculator lets you plug in practice scores here so you can see how it might affect your overall score. It does tell you this is not your official score, but it's a way for students to get a feel for, you know, late assignments or missing assignments that might be there. If I scroll a little bit further down the page, then I can see uh, results that I've gotten from my teacher. So this is an example of an assignment where the teacher has given me feedback but it's not full feedback yet. Um, I'm gonna scroll down to the assignment that I did just get feedback on, and that was this one. So this is the one that I just got feedback on. I can test a different score, you know, maybe if my teacher is going to give me another chance, but if not, if I click here, it opens the rubric so I can see it, see how I did. But if I also click the name of the assignment itself from this view, then I can see everything the teacher wrote out for me. So this is where I can add comments myself, open that dialog, I can click show rubric and it shows me the score. And I had this assignment set up to where you could submit it again. So if my teacher was going to let me do, redo this assignment, I could all redo that from this screen. So super helpful piece there. All right, so that is the Canvas speed grader. Uh, the other thing I will point out is the grade book in Canvas. I'm gonna make a separate video for that just for length purposes on this video. Um, but the Canvas gradebook is a great way to view some data on your student performance. And if you're putting all of your assignments, whether they're paper or they are truly online on Canvas in here, it could be a really helpful tool for everyone to utilize to make sure students are on track and are being supported and have everything turned in. Um, so I will do a separate video on that. But let me know what you think about SpeedGrader. And if you have any questions, please let me know.